Okay, hello Cloud Gurus. There's been quite a few announcements this week, including the ability to stop and resume workloads on EC2 spot instances. Per second billing is now available for some EC2 instances. There's a new way to reset your AWS root account's loss multi-factor authentication device. And perhaps the biggest news this week is there's a brand new AWS certification that has just been released in beta. This is the Certified Cloud Practitioner. I'm Ryan Krunenberg, and you're watching AWS This Week. So you can stop and resume workloads on EC2 spot instances now. And for those of you that don't know, EC2 spot can be 90% cheaper than on demand. And essentially what you do is you set your bid price. And when your spot price goes lower than your bid price, your EC2 instances will become available. The moment spot goes over the bid price, however, your EC2 instances will be terminated, including their EBS volumes. It's like having the rug pulled out from under your feet. And what you have to do is store your data somewhere more permanent, such as S3 or DynamoDB. This has changed now, however. EBS volumes will now persist after the EC2 instances have been deleted, so that the moment the spot price goes lower than your bid, you can actually still resume your computing. And you no longer have to worry about having to provision applications again, setting up EBS volumes, downloading data, joining network domains, and so forth. Another big announcement this week is per second billing is now available for some EC2 instances. And on-demand prices have always been hourly. And I went to Google Next this year, uh, which is basically Google's uh, version of reInvent uh, in San Francisco. And Google made a huge deal about how their compute engine has uh, per minute billing. Now, Amazon have basically trolled Google a little bit, and now they've dropped it down to seconds. So from, effective, uh, from the 2nd of October, uh, all Linux instances will have per second billing. No word yet as to when Windows or if Windows will have per second billing, so watch this space. And per second billing not only applies to EC2, but it also applies to EBS, Elastic MapReduce, as well as AWS Batch. And there's a one minute minimum charge per instance, and with GCP, it's actually a 10 minute minimum charge. So Google, it's time to drop your pricing down to per second. So most people have multi-factor authentication set up on their root account. And if you're like me, I can be a bit clumsy. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, my iPhone is quite badly broken at the moment. Um, and you know, you can lose your multi-factor authentication device. Now, in order to reset this, you had to basically wait from someone from the AWS team to call you. It's normally pretty fast, but it can take up to an hour. Now, to reset your device, there's a new way to do this using the AWS console. You basically have to sign in with your root account's username and password password. You then follow the steps to verify the email address and phone number associated with your root account. And then Amazon will reset the multi-factor authentication device for you. And in order to do this, you must deactivate your MFA device and then enable a new multi-factor authentication device. So hopefully this will save clumsy people like me a whole bunch of time. So perhaps the biggest announcement this week is that there's a new AWS certification and it's just been released into beta. It's called the Certified Cloud Practitioner. And Amazon haven't actually really announced this at all. They've just released it and are letting people sit it. Um, so the way we found out about this was through Reddit. A fellow Redditor had gone into the exam portal and had noticed it. Um, so it appears that this certification is aimed at a level below the current associate levels. And it looks like it's aimed at people who work in tech, but in non-technical roles. And there's lots of people out there like this, people like account managers or salespeople or marketing managers, etc. And it looks like this is aimed at them. It's great news for people who want to get certified but who aren't developers or solutions architects or system administrators. The exam itself is about 50 US dollars and it is in beta and many of the A Cloud Guru employees are taking it right now. We are working on a current curriculum and we hope to have a course out soon. And you can read our blog about the exam in the link below. So that is it for me, Cloud Gurus. Keep being awesome and I'll see you next week.